to go. You'll be fine, dude. Goodbye, sister. I'll probably miss you, you know. Living without you is never the same. This will be the first Christmas without hot cocoa wishes and us rolling on wrapping papered floors laughing. Nobody else could understand how we are like twins. When you are happy, I feel it. When you are sad, I feel it. When you are hurt, I hurt. Like my empathy has a dial and a setting just for you. And yet, my happiness does not make you happy. And my suffering brings you twisted joy because you always had to be one step above me. Just high enough to knock me down. Just high enough to catch my flaws with your icy blue eyes. Just high enough for your voice to cut me down with your scissor tongue stained in blood from the lies you raised me on. And no, I could never properly thank you for you being a mother and a caretaker for me while our mother was absent or consumed. And no, I never can quite thank you for not leaving me brown, purple, and blue because wounds on the inside heal slower, don't they? And leave calluses the size of my heart. The one you trained me to fear, love, for that, I could never thank you enough. And yet, whenever I try to be close to you, good enough for your overbearing expectations, stupid, worthless, and a cripple, there was all, there were some things I just can't change, Grace, and I'm being, been sorry enough times for how I've now, I'll never be perfect. And I don't think there will ever be words to thank you for your ice cold hands you lied to me. You said you were okay. You said it was nothing, that daddy was like that. You would tell us, I, tell me, I recall that no man could ever see me naked. No, not even daddy. That was how you protected me. But was it your idea of protecting me when I felt your eyes slither and I quiet, and quietly said that we were just playing games? Oh, that's right. When I mentioned that, you didn't remember. Go figure. Yet you were enraged enough for two. But I did not feel your rage, sister, only guilt and shame, no. I felt like a monster with no name, slimy and dirty. I felt worthless, so I guess you were right. Maybe I was a slump back ape with nothing to show for myself but a crooked leg. A leg I couldn't run on right. A back I couldn't stand on right. A mouth I couldn't talk with right. Or was it right but not good enough? And you told me I was lying when I said I was a guy because you're my sister. You know me better than anyone. And me being male was not okay with you. Male like our father with his bruising hands. Male like your first boyfriend who forced you on your knees. No. And that, I was not one of them. No. I promised myself I would never be one of those men. Yeah. But I also promised I would never be another, there would be never be another woman I would love like you. Hurtful, deceiving, and a bitch. So goodbye, sister. I hope I don't miss you, and when you pack up, don't forget to take back your shame.